Hello everybody, Toxin out here welcoming you back to more Final Fantasy IV. Excuse me for just a second. Alright, so last time we got the ribbons and got successful his Ragnarok, and now we are going to get the rest of the weapons. Yes, I mean there are more weapons. Well there's two more actually, but but you get the picture. So so we are up against this stupid, um, what's it called? Dino Zombie! Yeah, aren't you guys tired of seeing these? Well, we're about to be out of this area, and well, that's about it. And we only got like two more bosses, well, three more bosses left. Because I'm trying to get the, at least episode 50 before I end the series off. So in here, we have found a weapon. Now I would really suggest you uh, heal up if you need to. It's not nobody needs it, but I might use a couple, a few ethers. So I am ready for the fight. All right. So we're gonna learn quick. The Covetor of the Holy Lands shall perish. Perish. Play. Alright, so I'm not sure what this guy does, but I'm gonna use a bestiary real quick. Oh my god, he does doom. Okay, so he's got three, 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 three health. Vulnerable to throwing weapons. Well, it's best if we uh, use our best attacks. So just attack. Use your best attacks. Even Rosa needs to attack. So we can like get her down. And let me see here. Uh, what do we got? So we can throw. Um. All right. So let's see here. Two thousand one hundred eighty-seven. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Don't need to be daddling. Oh my gosh. That's not good at all. He just hastened our doom. Come on, Redia. I don't see if there's anything else we can throw. Uh I'm not gonna waste the Fuma Shurikens. Because we don't wanna waste those, because those are very rare and we don't need to be wasting them. So we're still he's hastening us again. And only got four turns left. Uh he should be down. Yep. And that's not that much. Obtain the holy lance. This is for definitely Kane. So with this, his defense goes down a little, but his attack goes up. He's still not as strong as Cecil. I'm not even going to go bother with this battle. So, there's one more weapon we can get, but it's up here. So, I'm going to be cutting these battles up and, uh, and see seeing you guys in just a moment. Alright, I'm back, and we should be, we should be getting to that weapon soon. I don't think it's... It's further down here. So now we're in the next area of the game. This is the final part. And we're going to be getting some items in here. So Wicked Mask. Okay, he won't be effective against, effective against magic. And it looks like he just reflected us. Now I don't even know how much of a threat this guy is. There is a few more boss. There's another boss here. I think it's in here. And he knows holy too. Ouch. That has to hurt. Alright, so let us see here. We're gonna use a bestiary as soon as we get to one of our. Uh. Not so you well, most of our. You know, I'll just, uh, let me see here. Where's 
the aha. Oh man, no specific weaknesses. Hmm. Bio. Bio. What in the world is this guy doing? Shouldn't bio, for goodness sake. That's a weak spell. Well, not really. I mean, it can still do a considerable amount of damage, just as you saw with Edge. So I'm going to still use Bahamut. Because, well, you know, I want to... Holy! I don't even know when Rose is going to be learning Holy. I hope soon. And, oh man, he's curing himself. And he's got like a reflect spell that can cast on all of us. That sucks. So yeah, nothing to do with much. He... Yeah, there's nothing much to it. You just gotta attack him, attack him, attack him. And I'm probably gonna be seeing more of these bosses. Of great pacing themselves. Man! <laughs> he just reflected us! Even though it's not that big of a deal because, well, he, he already reflected us. Here we go. Alright, so once we go down here and get the thing. You know, I could just escape this. Yeah, that's the that would probably be the best idea. So yeah, you can escape these guys. It's just best if you use smoke. And we should aha! And I am back and let us heal up real quick. Because we want to make sure everyone's in top-notch shape. Because this is the final boss that we'll be facing. That's technically, well, that's not required, but is going to help us. And, well, as you may know, I'm just using out all the ethers I can. It's kind of going to be bad on my part. So back into Cecil. Alright. None shall ever bear the cursed sword Masamune. Masamune. Whatever you call it. I don't know. Ogo Pogo! Oh my gosh! Oh, double title wave? Ow! Okay, let's see if this guy is effective against anything. No specific weaknesses. Oh, it looks like he's got... So yeah, it looks like we're gonna be uh, on cure duty a lot. Yeah, that's probably the best idea, because... Rosa needs to be on alert at all times. And if Cecil needs to, I'll make him... I'll heal him, but really he's not that useful in healing. Because, well, it's just better for Rosa to heal, and Cecil only knows Cura. Cura is a very, very, very weak spell. At this point in the game, anyway. Pogo Pogo. I thought he's not going to be that tough. Well, we don't know that for sure, because, well, I'm probably just being cocky and just saying. Hey, I can kill this guy. 4,400 damage. Looks like every time we do magic, he counters attacks. So, be wary of that. I don't even know if this guy knows Flare, so just be very, very cautious about it. Oh, my brother's doing something downstairs. Um... Probably after this, we're gonna I'm gonna go about with episode 49. Then no, episode 50 will be the final showdown.
Come on. We should be getting there. I don't know if there's a save point, but I sure hope so. Maybe there's Mega Elixirs down here, because I might be able to use them. Well, definitely I'll be able to use them, because we're about to fight the final boss after this. Well, not really. And that's not until a little bit later. But not too much later. As you might be thinking, what? A little bit later. Usually when I mean a little bit, it's like maybe a couple episodes or a few a few episodes. I remember the times when I was saying, oh man, this is going to take a few episodes. And this LP's been great. Even though I have been slacking off more than what I did in my last LP, which was Super Mario, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, which I still need to finish. Actually, my brother's probably going to help me with that. Yeah, I asked him if he gets far in the game, if he can let me copy his VPA. And we get Moss Moon. So, this is the final weapon for Edge. Even though I don't know why he has a. gets the last weapon. But, with that, we got the ultimate weapons for everybody as far as this point in the game. Now you may be wondering, okay, I always keep referring to this end of the game stuff. Well, you probably know by already, but after the end of the game, we will need to do additional stuff. That's why I'm saying, oh, I'm going to be doing bonus videos. So I'm going to go down here to the tad, see what's going on here. So I'm going to go at least one more floor. Behemoth! But we can escape this guy. But, after this escape, I'm not going to be escaping anymore. Elixir! Not a bad move. So... So no more escaping. I'm just going to go down one more floor, and then we're actually going to continue on, and I'm going to actually show off some fights. Now, this part of the point of the game is annoying there's some chests down here so you might want to get them I hope one of them contains the black robe because well Rodia needs that here's a chest with a Gyasha whistle okay so I think I already went over it but the Gyasha whistle cup calls your chocobo fat chocobo anytime you need it so I might actually do some grinding and get a few levels so all right so all right so I'm just gonna end things off here um, so next time on Final Fantasy 4 we're gonna continue down downwards to the final boss and probably the next episode will be pretty short because I don't want to go into the straight in the final boss but I'll just probably just get some monsters on screen so until then I will see you guys then Hello everybody, it's Oxen Knight. I am back and now we're going to continue on through this dungeon. So, we're going to be picking up some chests with some Puma Shurikens. We want these. Definitely. Um, actually I want to make sure what's... Hmm, there's nothing. Hold on. There's usually secrets behind these. So, I'm going to actually fight this Bahamut see how good we are with these, uh, things. See, the behemoth is no, not much of a threat anymore. 600 damage? Peeshaw. I could just heal that up quickly. But I'm probably going to have to... I really hope there's a save point down here, because... Well, it would suck if I needed to save or use a, you know, save point or a cottage during more down here. But I don't want to use my a lot of my ethers. I really hope there's a mega elixir here. And I don't want to waste my Fuma shurikens yet. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to actually use physical attacks with Rodia. I thought Kane was in the front and about to attack. But it looks like I'm wrong. Oh, man. Wait, is Rosa frozen? I thought she was frozen. 
someone's in here. Okay. Hold on just a second. Alright. Sorry you hear that door. Yeah, I need to actually get that fixed. I mean, you guys are hearing the door while I'm actually recording. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I still gotta put up some stuff after I get this video done. And Behemoth is down! I said we need to go this way, because there's nothing over there. Just a waste of time. So... Zemus is mine. Okay. Oh, dang it. Sorry about that. Confused. It looks like that didn't do much. Um, hold on, let me see what this guy's effective against. Get only one damage. I don't know why. Hold on, let me get him unconfused. It's probably why he actually did that. Okay, this is just odd. Can we not actually hurt him? Hold on, let me try this. Let me get a remedy out. Then we'll just try to see what happens when we use a... Okay, where's that remedy? I know I have one. Okay, let's see here. Come on, Rodia. You can do it. You can do it, girl. That's probably just we need to use uh, magic spells instead of... I'm right. So, it looks like we're going to have to... I'm actually going to have to run away from this, because none of my characters know pretty decent magic spells to actually... Well, not... Like, three out of two of them don't know damage. Well, Rosa doesn't know holy yet, so that's kind of a letdown, too. Zemus' breath. Oh, man! I forgot about this. Oh, he's actually getting information! So this guy doesn't do much. Except for... But we might want the experience off him, and Zemus might know what's good. We can do it. Mind Blast. Looks like we're gonna be dead. No, no, no. I'm joking. You are going to die. That breath is gonna die, and we're gonna kill him. Then we're gonna kill Zemus. <laughs> Reporting to Master Zemus. What are you doing? I just hope there's one more floor so I can actually uh, get some Fuma Shurikens and maybe a Mega Elixir. That'd be great. Definitely great. And I also need to hope oh, there's a save point. Not that I'm going to use a save state. And this video may be short. Because, number one, the next area could be the final boss. And, you know, I don't want to actually show the final boss until the next video. So this video may end up being short. For me just fighting this breath. As the breath does count as the final boss. Technically. Maybe. If that's what you want to believe. Or, if you have trouble believing, then you could just say, oh, it's just a regular enemy. But, more than likely, it's a boss. And I'm not going for 100% in the bestiary. Man, he's just wasting his magic on scam. Isn't it weird how enemies just waste their time on us, like, using spells that are just worthless at the time? Like, scan. Okay, he can scan us, but we can't scan him. We can scan other monsters, but we can't scan bosses. So 
So it's kind of pointless in this point of the game because, well, most of the most of the enemies here down in this area are bosses, and we have to use bestiaries. And the next, the final boss, you can't even actually uh, hit him. Well, you can hit him, but it's just hard to actually um, uh, put him in the bestiary because in the bestiary he's got question mark, question mark, question mark. See, he's down. Probably the next area, final boss. Oh, hopefully not. Yes, it is. Um. Hmm. You know what? Just, uh. Go with time. Let's see if we can. You know what? No, I'm just gonna end the video off here. So. Short video. I'm sorry, guys, that this is too short. But, just to make sure, I'll just show the part where I heal up. So, final boss is coming up tomorrow. That's right, guys. It's almost the end of the game. So, get your, get your fanny packs ready. Get your whoopee cushions. Get your potato chips. Get your nachos and cheese. Prepare for me to be... Prepare to be amazed, because I got something planned for everybody. And also, you know what? I'm going to use the knife on this fight. Uh, no, no, no. I'm not going to reveal that yet. But, okay, so I'm going to actually give Rosa the Yoichi bow. And we're actually going to give her the Artemis arrows. Now, there's only 20 of these, so... Yeah, so it looks like we're done here. So next time on Final Fantasy IV, it is the end of the world as we know it. So until then, I will see you guys next time.